and welcome to Bosnia and Herzegovina and welcome back to the village um, just going for a quick walk down the valley for some valley views it's a Saturday um, tomorrow I'm hoping to be taking some video of the Banja Luka to or yeah the Banja Luka to Belgrade bike race which should be coming past or coming near the village so hopefully we'll get some views of that and it's a Saturday and 24 degrees no 29 degrees actually at the moment so nice and warm so some valley views for you which I hope you're going to enjoy I'm not sure if those clouds are going to give us a few showers might be nice for the plants and here one of the uh, many small fruit orchards that are around I don't know whether these are plums or whether these are apples or pears but I do know that come October November time they'll become rackier and yes the war of the worlds is in the valley I don't want to stand underneath these cables too long I don't know how much radiation if anything electricity gives out maybe you can let me know if you check back in the channel you'll see uh, videos from the winter time and then as we went into spring when we had all the snow and all the water coming off the hills these drainage ditches uh, were clear so the water could race off into the river but I think let's go and have a look They're not, took, they're not looking too clear now, are they? But then again, we're not expecting too much rain. The remnants of a couple of uh, haystacks. So here I am on the banks of the river Verbas, which is the river that runs all the way from, I've mentioned this before so many times I know, from Middle Bosnia all the way north uh, through the country, ending up at the river Sava, which is up that way on the uh, Croatian border. It's a very cold river. I don't think it's all that deep, although uh, it goes through a number of canyons and there's a lot of white water rafting. In fact, Banja Luka is the host uh, on some years to the International Whitewater Rafting Championship, so it's it's pretty scary, Mary. Um, something that I'm not going to do. It's not even on my bucket list. But the river is, uh, yeah, it's a long one, and as far as I believe, it's exceedingly cold as well. You can see down into it, so it's not that murky. I think it's a lot cleaner than the River Thames, but there's still a lot of fly tipping. Uh, for those who don't know what fly tipping is, it means dumping your garbage um, on the riverbanks. I put some new laces in. Uh, my trainers except this one here you can't see it I don't think it's um, starting to get a blister and Tamara said be careful when you're walking down by the river because there's long grass that's why I'm looking down they have a, a hooded viper in this part of the country it's called the boscock uh, we had a female one in Montenegro that caused us to have the frights but the male the one with the horn the boscock allegedly if it bites a human within an hour your brown bread dead not sure how how true that is um, I asked if there was any serum in the local hospital 
and she was being very brave and very positive by saying of course that you know when you're seeing in people's eyes maybe not quite uh, <laughs> quite the thing right so I'm going to be walking down car tracks and not in there better safe than sorry what do you think goats. The men that stare at goats, there's quite a lot of truth there, if you know anything about me, if you know what I mean, jelly bean. You like that shot? Is that cool?